I would say it's about time we've probably covered as to why we do these videos on social media, why Owen works with me, why I work with the police, but more importantly, what we've got planned and yeah, well, I guess just in general, why? So from my side, I grew up in the Max Power era. I grew up in North London. I had lots of cars. I modified them. I was a car enthusiast. I went down to Chelsea Cruise, South End at the weekends. So I kind of see it from the car enthusiast side mm -hmm. um, and from the car community, having been there myself. Um, but now I do what I do for a living um, and I see what happens when it goes wrong and you know we're involved in clearing up after that so you know my role now is to try and stop that happening so that you don't get involved in it and you don't see it either um, so you know we had a few problems with car meets in our own course area and um, so the last thing we want to do is shut them down we don't want to shut them down we want you to have the meet we want you to have fun um, but we need it to be safe and we've got that obligation to make sure it is safe um, so rather than shut it down I went and knocked on George's door and said, huh. look, do you want to try some engagement and some education and see if we can improve the relationship between the police and the car community and let's try and keep everybody safe? So I went and knocked on your door and I think you can probably take it up from there because it was a bit of a shock, wasn't it? On that topic, how did you, obviously you must have discussed it with your colleagues beforehand. There must have been a conversation of, because you turned up with someone that I can't quite remember. Um, how did that go down? Um, no, I didn't really. I'm, I'm very good at kind of taking things on myself and just, all right, that's a good idea, let's make it happen. Yeah. Um, and we just happened to be down in, um, you know, your area. Yeah. Um, so came round and thought, do you know what, let's, let's knock on the door and mm. see what George says. So uh, on that topic, guys, I had spent the day surprising a subscriber of mine. He was having his car modified at a local tuning garage. I had gone there, met him. Um, this was all planned by his girlfriend. We'd had a great time. And on the way home, to save them potentially buying overpriced petrol station food, I invited them around for lunch. And we were just sat there, and a knock on the door happens. Um, one of my friends runs out to the door and says, George, there's two policemen outside. No idea what was going on. I said, look, of course, come in. I hadn't done anything wrong. Come in. And yeah, we just kind of discussed the potential of what if we made some videos like this. You know, you went away, uh, you gave me your phone number, and I remember having a chat with my parents being like, this is potentially risky, because again, in some ways, the police get a bad reputation, and I wasn't quite sure how to, how to do it the right way. Um, we made a video, the myth-busting laws of modified cars. Yeah, just a Q and A. Terrible audio, terrible visuals, in the rain, and it just went so viral, compared to what I'd previously been receiving. We just decided to do it again and again and again. And yeah, I guess we've two and a half years later, we're in the position that we're in now where, you know, we've, we've got a big platform that a lot of people recognize and it's yeah. somewhat imposter syndrome. We're not quite sure how we got here, but we're glad we did. So the idea for me was, you know, when I grew up and I was modifying cars, social media didn't exist. <laughs> Mobile phones hardly existed. Um, and if I, um, didn't know how to do something, I would go and speak to somebody that I knew and trusted knew how to do it. But these days with social media, people just put on a social media platform, I don't know, let's say Facebook group mm. and say, yeah. is it all right to cut the springs on my Clio? Um, and I'm looking at that thinking, oh no, please don't do that. Um, because for us, that's inherently dangerous mm. and that's a PG9 prohibition. You know, it's as simple as that but you'll get your Facebook expert who will come on and say, no, it's absolutely fine, don't worry about it. And then you've got people doing unsafe modifications to their car on their driveway and driving around in a car that is dangerous. So it was about mm. trying to stop that happening and giving people the correct information um, to stop them getting tickets. Uh, mm. You know, this isn't about revenue. It, it's, in fact, it's the opposite, you know, because we're telling you how to avoid getting those tickets. Yep. So if you take this advice, and it's entirely up to you whether you take the advice that we give you, but if mm. you do, you're not gonna get stopped by the side of the road, and if you do, everything is correct about your car, and it's just a quick chat, and you're on your way, there's no tickets. On that point, Owen, on that point, I think the difference between us and, I'm gonna say, the public, is that when I make a video with you, there's loads of people that need to approve it before it goes live, right? Oh, so yeah. This yeah. advice, you can take it with some seriousness, hence the blue tick and so on and so forth. But when Kyle, for the sake of argument, decides that that's the way you do it, he posts a video and risks other 
impressionable people thinking that that's the way to do it, and then they copy it, and they potentially put themselves at risk, mm -hmm. get themselves in trouble with the police, and so yeah. on. What we tried to offer was some official advice that you could take um, without a grain of salt, a pinch of salt, if that's the phrase, but at the same time know that, okay, cool, well, I can trust these guys. You know, you've got Owen, he's experienced, he is a copper, he's also had 20 years experience as a road safety, road casualty reduction officer, and, um, you know, George is a car enthusiast. Together, we, we wanted to add some value, and that's what we're doing. And on the talk of revenue, oh, my God, do we get those comments. Oh, um, yeah. Owen at no point has taken any money from me. Um, there has been no um, incentives from brands to put anything in Owen's pocket. I don't, frankly, earn enough to be getting out of tracksuit bottoms and driving my Focus ST, which I'm sure Owen is probably quite glad of because he wouldn't want me having a faster car than his. But yeah, you know, we have good intentions with what we do. And together, you know, there's a lot of planning and a lot of um, behind the scenes work that goes into what we do. Yeah. We don't wing it. And unfortunately, Facebook doesn't have an approval process for, for anyone who chooses to upload content. And that's the difference between them and us. You know, we do this properly, we take it seriously, and we, we want you guys to, to learn from us. So we do get a lot of taxpayers' money mm. comments, don't we? Yeah. Um, you know, 90% of the work that I've put into this is all done in my time. And, you know, you're sending me edits at two or three o'clock in the morning because you don't sleep. Um, and I wake up in the morning to find all this stuff on my phone. Um, so evenings, weekends, it, it, that's when the time is going into mm. this. And, um, yeah, it's nothing comes back to me financially on any of this. And mm. hardly anything comes to George because we've got problems with us being able to use particular sponsors and things like that. Yeah. So it is a complicated world, but all our videos have to go through an approval process and we work with Roads Peace in Training, corporate comms, mm -hmm. um, and everyone else that needs to approve the videos. So what you're getting is absolutely as yeah. good as we can possibly get it. It baffles my mind how many people will comment on a video of an officer saying, this is the rule, and they'll be like, that's a lie. And I, I don't even want to respond to them because it's, it just what, what you, blows my yeah. brain that people can do that. Oh, yeah. that's not right. Okay. Um. But we don't make the rules. <laughs> yeah. You need to understand that. We do not make the rules. I don't make the rules. The police don't make the rules. The rules are already there. All we're doing is explaining them to you. And the construction and use legislation was released in 1986. That's an awful long time ago, probably yeah. before many of you were even born. Mm -hmm. Yes, it probably needs updating now. And I think there, there is that process um, moving forward. Um, but all we're trying to do is try and explain to you what is in some cases very, very technical um, and difficult to understand legislation. And we're trying to put that into a very simple form to put it out on social media. So sometimes we won't go into massive detail with it um, because we can't give you a traffic law skills course in 60 seconds on TikTok. Yeah. And we have to simplify it to a, a certain extent and sometimes there is discrepancy between MOT and construction and use and so we do try and explain that to mm. you as best we can. On the talk of not being able to do um, construction and use courses for example on, on video what works quite well for me is that I'm the creator if you like and what Owen can do is instead of trying to get a boring topic across to you guys he can make me learn how to do it I can then vlog it make it relatable and as a result you guys learn something so Talking of, say, like a motorbike license or advanced driver's course or um, any skills training in any way, I can do that on camera. And as a result, people can learn from it and make it relatable. There are lots of people doing stuff they shouldn't be doing on the Internet and people learn from it. So I'm very proud to say that, you know, we're making an effort to make content of things about things that people maybe should be learning from. So. But what we're also doing is we're answering the questions that the viewers are asking. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a, a lot of the stuff we do, somebody has directly asked us that question, which is why we're answering it. You might know the answer to it already, um, yeah. but that person doesn't. And thousands of people don't know that answer. So, you know, if you do know the answer to the question, then that's fine. But just remember that mm. some people don't. In summary, guys, we just wanted to say why we do this. You know, we're both two good people with good intentions at heart. As a result, we've become friends. We do have a lot of humor and a lot of banter off camera. We try and bring that to the camera when we can, when we see it appropriate. Um, and like I said, you know, we, we have good intentions. We want to help. And we're trying to utilize all these people on social media um, and try and be um, a platform of reliability, positivity, and you know, effectively yep. sensible advice in regards and to road safety. Lastly, um, the folks RS. 
Um, that is all paid for from Vision Zero Southwest. There is yeah. no police money that goes into that um, at all. Um, kindly, um, the manufacturers that support the project you know, do help us uh, with those parts. Mm. Um, so, you know, there is no taxpayer's money that is going into that Focus RS at all. And at the end of the project, we'll sell it and the money will be returned to Vision Zero Southwest. If you want to know more about Vision Zero Southwest, then there is a website that you can go to. Um, but we've also got our leaflets and things which talk about the common modifications mm. and they're all available as well um, on the Vision Zero website. So if you want to know more about that, go and have a look at that. But Pretty much everything we do is on the GCM platforms. Yeah, so if you enjoy our videos, you know, whether you think the police are cool, whether you like driving cars, motorbikes, whatever it might be that uses the road, stick around, subscribe, follow us on any platform that you're seeing this video on, and uh, we promise that we'll make a concerted effort to bring you some content of value moving forward. Any questions, let us know in the comments. By all means, message us on Instagram. We're on all platforms, and hopefully we'll see you guys all soon. Thank you, goodbye.